Imagine if tomorrow we cured cancer and in a hundred years there were still a million kids dying of cancer. It would be unthinkable. But that's the situation we find ourselves in with water. By 2025, 1.8 billion people will be living in water stress regions. We are reaching a perfect storm in terms of water. The reason you need to care about the water crisis is because it's going to directly affect you and your family. We're on the brink of being hopeless, but we're not there yet. We break down the barriers between people and safe water and sanitation. We envision a day when everybody has access to clean water and sanitation, and we envision that in our lifetime. People who are really struggling with drought or deteriorating water quality, those are the people on the edges and the fringes that are really innovating. We just came from a very dry season, so this was the only source of drinking water for these children. The water we have today is the water we've always had. We use it and then we throw it away. Nature doesn't do that. Everything that you need to stay alive except carbon is in your waste, it's in your feces, in your urine, and in the breath that comes out of you. Toilet to tank is really what we're doing here. It was always my dream. I can take my wastewater, put it in my car, and drive off into the sunshine. It breaks my heart that we have the solutions, and then we can't get them out fast enough. This can happen in our lifetime. This has to happen in our lifetime. Or we are looking at a very different world for our children. How lucky are we that we're the ones who get to solve this? In a hundred years, people are gonna wish they were alive and they could solve a problem this big.